hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to take one step further and we are going to test this html form i mean this html form is nothing but a basic form using hooks use state hook and there are some handlers which are updating the state state is like name and age and there is a submit button okay you can write this form you properly using uh, hooks forms library or using formic library and all there are a couple of libraries are available but this is vanilla react form okay not using any external library for validations and all these are the two input text field there is a label there is an input text field and there is a button okay now if you remember using react react testing library we can uh, capture the input text field element we can call this on change event by doing the fire events and we can also whenever there is a form is valid right there is a submit uh, submit is disabled if the the name property is empty so all those kind of validations we can do with the help of testing and we can verify okay uh, the component is rendering properly we have two input text fields when the the value in the name is empty then submit button is coming as a disabled all these kind of tests we should be able to write okay so here we are going to write our test case uh, let's see our first test is uh, our first test is it renders the form okay it means it is rendering the form properly and here we are going to use this uh, render first we will render the component we are using render from testing library and we are rendering the app component okay from render we can actually get two methods first is get by text and get by label text okay now we can use these methods to get the, the values const name label there are two labels right name label and i think age label and we can use get by text not test id get by text and what we are passing here is we have the name label right name column okay so this is the name label and we have another label is age label and this is coming something like this now we can check okay these two uh, elements are available or not like first label is this second label is this right these are the labels and we can just check that both are in the dom or not so we can simply do expect name label name label to be I'm waiting for the auto complete to be in document, right? To be in document, simple. Same thing we can apply for the age label. This is age label. That should also satisfy this condition. Okay. Now we can get the input text field. Const input. And we are going to get it using get by label text okay this is get by label text and we can get the input text field for age this will give us the input text field and what we can do is expect this input to have an attribute because this input text field should have attribute type and number to have attribute and we are checking okay the type should be number this is our first test case okay we are just checking text fields are coming and when we are getting the age text field the type attribute in that should be number now let's increase our test case so here button should be disabled right when we empty the name field 
so for empty name i mean whatever the description you put and we are doing get by rule here we can see okay here we have the label attribute and disables okay so what we will do is get by label text this is what we can use and with the help of that we can get the name property name input text field name input and now we can actually trigger an event and we can update the value of this text fields to empty right how we do it so we have fire event fire event dot change on to this text field so we are doing change on this input and what value we are passing so we have to pass the target value so we always pass event dot target dot value so here the value is empty <coughs> and now we need to get the submit button to see okay the submit button has been disabled or not const button and here we can just use get by role okay here is we need to get the get by role from the render get by role and the role is button and the name of the so this is the attribute identifier name is submit go to your component and here is the button right type submit value submit right so this is how we can get the button okay and then we can just do expect button to have an attribute disabled right uh, what we can do is this is button expect button to have an attribute we have already written this so once you do this the button should be disabled now simple test case right what we are doing is we are using this name input in the name input we have empty this right so that means now if the the name input text will be empty now the button should have been disabled now this is on a simple test case now another test case we can do is we will just put some values to this and we will say okay not to have an attribute disabled okay button should be enabled for non empty values whatever you can find and we can also debug so we will think we will talk about how you can debug also because we you can debug any particular element you can get in the console.log so get by label text we got the name we are doing a fire event first of all so first we are checking okay the element is disabled okay so this is where we are getting debug so first the element attribute is disabled now we will do the fire event again and we will pass a value to this input text field let's say i am passing tk sharma now there is a value okay now we you can do is you can also debug these values okay what is the current state of my button this will give us something on the console that will tell us okay what is the button property right now and here is this and we can just check this now button should be enabled so now button submit button dot not to have an attribute disabled this means this should now be enabled okay let's check the test cases how it is going on okay these are running i think it should be fine now name we have input text field we just put the empty value button we got the button property i mean button element check the attribute disabled we are debugging the button checking what is the value there then we are putting some value now button should not have a disabled attribute 
So these are kind of test cases we can write. Uh, one is failing. Let's see. Are we getting the debug values or not? Yes, you can see. Disabled equal to this and the disabled attribute is now gone. This is coming from 94. Okay, I can't get the line number, but that is fine. Here there is some get by text. Okay, this is coming from where line number seven. Uh, which file it is renders form properly okay i think this is the mistake get by text get by label text okay now all should be passing and this is how we just simulate the simple behavior to test the submit button is disabled when there is no input text field value when there is a value then disabled attribute should be gone okay same way in the next video we can uh, extend our test cases and we can also think about like let's say this form is getting some data from outside okay uh, one is still failing uh, which one is this to be in document is not a function i think uh, there is some typo ninth to be in document to be in the document, I think to be in the document. I mean, these these method names you will remember when you start using them again and again. Okay, we are not using this method again. Okay, let's wait for the execution and then we'll move to the next video. Okay, so this is all about a simple testing of a simple form, right? Now our test case can be more complex like uh, we start using the hooks and those hooks are making a call and all those things. Okay, I will just fix this to be in the document is also not a function. Okay, to be in the document, it should be, I have already replaced this to be in the document. This is just, I just need to retry this and it should start working because this is looking for this method this method is not there in my whole file i have already replaced it so maybe when i shave it it should go away okay let's connect uh, in the next video guys thanks everyone